Coming up on this week's news, in a horrific accident, an electrician is paralysed after plunging 50 feet from an electricity pylon. The bizarre electric vehicle charger that goes over a pavement to reach your car. And the electrical contractor from the Wirral who beat sexism to create a successful and thriving business. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly in association with Schneider Electric, whether you're listening in the van, on site or down at the wholesale counter. I'm Joe Robinson and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And as always, if you think you've spotted the two words that I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, comment them below for the chance to win a prize. An electrician has been left paralysed from the waist down after plunging 50 feet from a pylon in a horror accident. Gavin Pugh was rushed to hospital in Birmingham where he spent six months undergoing life-saving treatment. The 34-year-old had suffered a serious spinal injury and was left in a coma for two months. Following his rehabilitation, Pugh has returned to Bangor, North Wales to live with his parents. The accident has been made public now because Pugh needs help in getting the specialist equipment he needs to live independently. A fundraising campaign has been set up by his mate David Jones and Jones is set to complete the National Three Peaks Challenge. That's the three highest peaks of Scotland, England and Wales within just 24 hours. He's raised over £2,400 so far from the online appeal but he urgently needs more. There's a link to the fundraising page in the show notes. Now, would you recognise asbestos if you came across it on a job? An awareness campaign about the dangers of this deadly substance has just been launched. It follows the revelation that 30% of UK electricians are exposed to it every single week. Asbestos is a grey fibre-like material once used for insulation and other purposes. It comes in sheets which are sometimes flat and sometimes corrugated, but it's always dangerous if you inhale its particles when you're drilling or chasing. Exposure over a long period can lead to a cancer called mesothelioma. Tragically, one in 20 electricians know someone who's died from it, and every week, the deaths of 20 tradespeople are attributed to asbestos. With such severe consequences, it's important to know the warning signs of the disease. Dr. Rihanna McClyman, a doctor at Livy, the digital healthcare provider, tells us that the key symptoms are a persistent cough, shortness of breath, wheezing, a pain in the chest or shoulder, tiredness and swollen or clubbed fingertips. So if you experience any of these and are concerned that you've been in contact with asbestos, please consult your GP straight away. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we triggered a cacophony of comments when we told you about a trial in Bedfordshire of a simple but revolutionary idea to solve the problem of pedestrians tripping over electric vehicle charging cables crossing the pavement. The local authority there is allowing a company to run the cables in a simple channel chased into the pavement. But this week, an even more ingenious idea has hit the market. London company Nodum Industries has introduced the charge bridge, which takes the cable over the pavement and over pedestrians' heads. The patented idea uses a rotating arm to take the cable safely to the car. The company says that charge bridge, as it's called, has been designed for a typical British terraced house. It eliminates the need for the expensive groundworks required for on-street charging. It also allows homeowners to use the cheapest tariff possible to charge their vehicle. Another EV charging innovation this week comes from Schneider Electric. It's unveiled a special EV charger that's designed for sharing. The EV Link Pro AC allows a number of drivers in the same apartment block or housing complex to use the charge point and it keeps track of consumption. The unit is rated with weather protection at IP55 and vandal protection at IK10. Schneider promises that electrical contractors will appreciate how the eSetup app simplifies commissioning, operation and maintenance. The EV Link Pro AC also connects to EcoStructure EV Charging Expert, the load management system, so that facility managers and building owners can keep track of everything. In other product news this week, Makita has launched two cordless work lights which allow you to see what you're doing, no matter what the conditions. They're both compatible with both Max, XGT and LXT batteries. They're also IP65 certified, dust and water resistant. The ML005 work light has three brightness settings. At full brightness, it delivers 3,600 lumens. That's over twice as bright as a 100 watt incandescent light bulb. It can give about three and a half hours of continuous illumination on high mode. The light is rated at a cool colour temperature of 5000 Kelvin and it also has a controller with a memory function so it will return to the last brightness setting when turned on. Still on lighting, Skolmore has unveiled a wireless smart controller for its LED tape. It means you can set the mood or occasion instantly using your mobile phone. It uses the company's Click Smart Plus app so you can turn the red, green, blue and white LEDs to any colour you choose. There are three modes, white, colour and music. 
White mode allows control of the brightness of the LED tape, while the color mode lets you choose any color to create a range of lighting effects. With the ClickSmart Plus app open and set to music, the LED tape will change color with the music. I can just see Gary now using this to rock out to status quo in his man cave. Anyway, I've popped a link to this and indeed all the products featured here in the show notes. In other lighting news, what's been called a super highway for bats has been unveiled in Denmark. The street lights along a stretch of road in Fredericksburg have been designed to have a minimal impact on the local foraging bat population. At the same time, they provide the required looks and uniformity levels to road and cycle path standards. The reason the local authority uses red light is because it doesn't disturb the bats. And finally, a rural woman has spoken of her experience encountering sexism and prejudice during her 35 years working as an electrician. Lisa Marie Evans, the owner of G. Evans Electrical, started out as a six-year-old helping her granddad Jerry, who founded the firm in 1983. Evans told her local newspaper, the World Globe, that she enjoyed helping her granddad so much she'd actually bunk off school to do jobs for him. By the time she was 16, she could rewire a whole house. Evans went on to score the highest mark possible in her electrical qualifications, and after working for her granddad, she went to work for the council in a team of more than 1,000 men. And it was there that she encountered sexism for the first time. Evans says that as a female electrician, she has turned up at people's houses only to have the male homeowners turn her away. She's also had builders patronise her and even try to rip her off. In 2010, Evans fulfilled her granddad's dream by taking over the family business, and despite the sexism, she says that the majority of people love the novelty of a female electrician. Some customers even invited her to their wedding. We'd like to congratulate Lisa and the team at G. Evans Electrical, which is about to celebrate its 40th anniversary. Evans' motto, be nice, provide great service, but don't take any... Um, Nonsense. Wise words to end on today. Coming up from eFix this week, we're live from Lucico for our fortnightly live stream, and we have a special guest joining us, winner of an eFix 30 under 30 award, Dale Hunter, off of A10 Electrical Solutions. So make sure you're tuned in to our YouTube channel on Wednesday at 8 p.m. for that. And we're not done with BG Lucico for the week. Stay firmly glued to our social media for a special event and announcement from their headquarters in Telford later in the week. We've also got all the usual content for you, including reviews of a handy new tool from Nipex, the next strip, and it's getting darker earlier, so we're officially into lighting season with a look at a gorgeous and ingenious linear light fitting from Robus called the Horizon. There's also the usual raft of Q&As, and we make available our latest free CPD on the subject of EV charge point installation. So if you're finding yourself flummoxed by the subject, make sure you keep checking the know-how page of efix.co.uk to complete that. If you think you know the words I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments and we'll dig out a goodie bag prize to the first to get the right answers. Last week's words were cognoscenti and introspective, which were fairly blatant, but a couple of completely unintentional red herrings threw people off a bit, and so the first person to get both correct answers was James Punchard. So well done to you, James. Click the link in the show notes to claim your prize. Thanks for listening to this episode of Electrical News Weekly in association with Schneider Electric. Make sure you subscribe to receive the next update, and until next time, have a great week, stay safe out there, and remember, there's no such thing as a torque calibrated arm.